Well, good afternoon or good morning or good evening or whatever time you're watching this. And that's the fun thing about podcast. We, uh, we don't care when you're watching it. We don't care what you're wearing, right, actually. So just have a good time and we're just glad you're watching. That's really what matters Absolutely. to us more than anything. So uh, I'm John Motormouth Luciano from uh, the Street Auto Group, mainly Street Volkswagen, as you guys know. And this is just another one of our Wednesdays. And we have a great honor today to have a couple of guys from Volkswagen with us. And we're just going to talk a little bit about that. We're going to talk about uh, growing up, and it's just going to be a basic podcast, nothing, nothing real important. So our first guest, Michael, tell us a little bit who you are. My name is Michael Ashton. Um, I'm the senior manager at Volkswagen of America, and I look after all the used cars and the certified pre-owned cars. <laughs> He's our new best friend, so don't be fooled. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so he does great things for us. And Thank Jeff? And I'm Jeff, no nickname Johnson. No nickname. Uh, no nickname. I like that. Um, you, well, by the time we're done with you, you're going to have a nickname. So, uh, Well, when I was selling cars, uh, they called me J.J. Dynamite. J.J. Uh, Dynamite. J.J. Dynamite. Um, man, I was quick on the draw. See, I, I told you guys that wasn't his dance name when he was with that group. But yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> um, that's funny. So uh, from Texas, but uh, new to the position, I managed the uh, CPO program for the South Central Region here, which Street is, is a member of the South Central Region. And, uh, and back in Texas, uh, in Dallas, so where I originally grew up. So Welcome very home. happy to be back. And yeah. We're glad to have you back. So real quick, what is CPO? Certified pre-owned. Okay. And is that a good yeah. thing? Oh, absolutely. It's absolutely a good thing. Yeah. It truly yeah. is a it good thing. It is actually a good thing. It really, right? truly is a good thing. So let's yeah. talk about that real quick. Okay. What are some of the things that come with, with a certified pre-owned? And we're not the only ones that do it. I mean, I, I think we do it better than most. I, I really yeah. do. And, and I've been with those other brands, and we have one of those other brands. But I can tell you, in, in going through those different brands, I, I just we take it a, a little step further. We take it seriously. Yeah, yeah um, we truly do. We actually are conversion of CPO to just normal pre-owned vehicles within our franchise network. We actually sell more certified pre-owned vehicles because the value is there. And ultimately, that's all it's about is customer value, oh, right? It's it's providing that uh, that warranty and that assurance to the customer to that they're comfortable with the purchase that they've made, mm -hmm. and that they know that if at any time in the future they need to use that warranty for a reason that we're there to stand behind them. I think one of the biggest things that I hear from, from our guys when selling, we, we tend to run into it a lot where the guy comes in and says, look, you know, I need, I need an inexpensive used car for my daughter to go to school in or my son to go to school in. And then we start talking about CPO and roadside assistance and mm -hmm. lockout and gas and, and the follow-up that comes with it. And they all of a sudden it's like, whoa, that makes a lot of sense because that way, you know, they'll call them <laughs> instead of calling me and I don't have to try and find that. So one of the great programs we have is our roadside assistance. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, so. it's it's two years. It's unlimited mileage, it's two years. So, that, you know, we're always there to, to cover for the customer. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's absolutely, it, it's funny because you, you talked about um, a customer saying, I'm looking for a cheap car. Right, and then, then there's a difference. And so from the manufacturer side and speaking on behalf of the dealers, the reason that Certify is so important is it's not about the cheap car that you get at the independent lot that's down the street. Right. Because they're not putting brand new tires on it, they're not putting brake pads on it, they're not ensuring that that car They're hiding is, the Carfax from they're, you. They're yeah, hiding That's where the Carfax right? comes so, out. Yeah, right yeah from so their transactionally, commercial. it's Absolutely. lower. Absolutely. But when you come back in and, and you've just purchased a car and it has three 30 seconds on the tires, you now have a car that doesn't have safe tires. And what's different is you're putting tires on the car if mm -hmm. it's needed or you're putting brakes. And, we, and that's where it really makes a yeah, difference. And a lot of our guys, they feel real comfortable in telling them, look, really for the next two years, a couple oil changes, that really should be your only expense. So you're looking for that lower payment or I really don't want to do that. But then you buy a used car that's got those issues. And then over the next two years, you're pumping all this other money into it. And that's what we try and help them understand why this program makes so much sense. Well, look at it like peace of mind. Absolutely. It's giving you peace of mind when you talk about roadside assistance. Um, I may have not had a, a you know flat tire in the past year or two, but I've had a friend or family member that has. Sure. And that's a pain to deal with. Sure. And so you don't have to worry about it with that. So it gives you that peace of mind. Right. Same with the technician going to do your inspection. Um, yeah. A Volkswagen technician. Absolutely. These Certified Volkswagen tech looked at your car. These are the techs that are looking at the same model, makes and models every single uh, day. Um, instead of somebody that's looking at a hundred different types of makes and models on vehicles, this is somebody that's on. You were with Audi for a while? Yes, I was. So just um, welcome back to the Volkswagen side. So. Oh, hey, love yeah. the blue brand. You were on the dark side for a while. so we Went from rings to the popsicle, we're good. <laughs> to the popsicle. Is the popsicle. I've never heard that. that. Lollipop, lollipop, <laughs> lollipop. Lollipop, okay. Lollipop. Okay. lollipop. I'm not sure where we were going with all <laughs> yeah, that for yeah. a moment I'm there, getting so. the lingo down. Okay, well, <laughs> Jeff's not leaving Volkswagen. <laughs> so, so with that, so we're going to take a real quick commercial break, and I guess we're going to, is it a popsicle? Is that who's supporting? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I forget who makes popsicles. Popsicle? Uh. <laughs> popsicle company. So we'll be right back with you in one second. <laughs> Well, welcome back. So we're back here with our with our famous guests. So Thanks for having California us boy originally. Yep. yep. So that's really cool. That's close. Yeah. You know? It's the weather's nicer here. Than <laughs> on How's the East, East Coast, Coast going? Uh, you know, it's humid. It's the East Coast. <laughs> Spent some time out there. I like the East Coast. But and you're you're in Herndon, Virginia. I'm in Herndon, Virginia. Okay. Nice area. I still love the corporate offices. They are still really cool. They're and we we did a podcast offices. from there. So we so we and we even had Mr. Barnes in that one. So I think we're probably okay. You yeah. won't get too much credit. <laughs> yeah. So we've had the boys. We get them in there. So just kind of having fun. We're talking a little bit about CPO and and the benefits of it and yeah. and the things that it does good for you. So. Jeff, Jeff had to leave the country, or not the country, what well, we consider Texas a country. You know, yeah. kind of kind of funny that way. Yeah. But he left the country for a while. Now he's back to the country yeah. of Texas. And yeah, yeah. We're glad uh, to have him back. Was gone for four years, uh, went up to Herndon. And when you mentioned the facility, uh, you know, every morning when I drove in, uh, we have a showroom, an Audi side and a Volkswagen side. You get to see all the new models. Um, you know, you know when like the Dune or the the denim Beetles that we have here uh, right now. We um, sold them okay. off the truck. Okay. We haven't had to, we didn't get to display one yet. <laughs> so every all, all of our Dunes, all yeah. of our denims gone. So. so you get to see all the new great new models program. out there. Yeah. Beautiful facility. We'll give there. Rudiger a plug. Ru, you know, Rudy did a good job on those. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. But yeah. at eighteen hundred of them, but it wasn't enough. Not enough. <laughs> yeah, it just wasn't enough. But we're we're learning as we go, right? So, so you can't get one now, uh, I guess, unless you know we get one of the other ones in. But uh, that was the nice thing about. Uh, you know, working in Herndon is, you know, kind of the pulse of what's going on with the organization and then coming back to Texas, coming well, out I, here. I just always thought it was so cool. You know, have, you know, the Bentley office is there mm -hmm. and the Audi office is there and the Volkswagen office is there and the ability for those to be able to talk. Mm -hmm. And I think that's some real strength. And yeah, we strategize. Yeah, yeah, I just thought it was awesome. And so Jeff and I have known each other for, uh, you know, what, two years now? Two years, yeah. Two years and we've worked really well together. And the fact that Jeff has come over to the Volkswagen from Audi um, and now he's running the South Central big region. It's a big yeah. plus for oh, us. A big plus for us. You know, and it's. If, can we? Can I rewind for just a second? Absolutely. I this is free flow, right? You <laughs> said there's no. You say anything you want to say, but no. It's there's the one thing that our primary job when we talk about certified. You know, I started with customer at the end of the day. Used cars has such a negative connotation mm -hmm. as it relates to it. You know, the the dealership, the used cars, and people are instantly on guard and. Our job, ultimately, the reason for that certified is to put all those worries to mm -hmm. bed. And Absolutely. that's why we want people to come in and look at the car. We've got near new cars. We've got some that are older, and we treat them all the same. We put the same warranty on them. Mm -hmm. We put the same care on them. We look after it. It is almost as comprehensive as a brand new warranty. There's a few wear and tear parts that we don't cover. Pretty minimal. Uh, but I have to tell you. <laughs> You know, I'm, I, it's an impressive warranty. So, but we've looked but, at them. I mean, they're not anything that's going to be needed immediately no, no, no. or anytime soon. We still even checked them. That's because I'm watching. So, if <laughs> I were to get a warranty claim right after, I would know and I would call you. <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> right. As it should be. So, right. But, well, I think there's 114 or 116 points that are actually on that deal. But then, like you said, there's those few other things that we check. So, the technicians tell me it's about 120 is right. a pretty good number of the different things that they look at. And, you know, they have a sheet and they have to physically do it. And we talked at lunch, we're hopefully going to go computerized on that, which will be uh, the I technicians know. would be rah rah on about that. But the great part is you get a copy of that sheet yes. as a customer. You get a yep. copy of the sheet. It's got his name on it. So if you find that or you have that question, you walk back in the store and say, hey, you know what? I want to talk to Leroy. Leroy, what happened here, buddy? You know, that's that's how strong the program is. That's that's how cool it is. Well, and, and for the consumers that would be, you know, the customers that are going to watch this podcast right now, not only does the technician sign it and the, the service, service manager, manager, but the pre-owned <laughs> manager. Use and manager. then we have a company that come in that yeah. comes in and does the inspection mm -hmm. and we make sure that the yep. paperwork's all right. And we do that for the whole nation. Right. And, and you know, t uh, as a plug, you do a stellar job. <laughs> yeah. So. But we, um, we love the program, yes. and, and you, you told some great stats when we had our sales meeting earlier. The, the, you know, the, whether you want to call it a recovery rate or the buyback rate or any of the different rates you want to look at it, the customer comes back. They love the program. The car was so dependable and so good to them that you know, ninety percent of them is that what it is? What was the number what, that, that that'll but, come back in and either buy another Volkswagen or another pre-owned? So from the loyalty standpoint, we have a hundred percent uplift on mm -hmm. consumers that purchase a, cert, a certified pre-owned that come back and buy another uh, Volkswagen, 
and they almost always buy a new car. Yeah. yeah. So that kind of wraps it up. You know, it's we, we talk a lot, and one of our one of our models for the store, or whatever, is we talk about is German engineering at an affordable price, and that's what to us Volkswagen is. You are getting that German engineering, but Volkswagen prices. You know, there was a time when we probably were 15 years ago considered to be expensive. I assure you, our Jetta in the market, well well priced against Civic or against Corolla or whatever, nine times out of ten better with the incentives and especially the lease incentives we have. I promise you, we're less. Absolutely. Especially if you're a payment buyer, I can tell you that. One of the things that is, tell you how much Volkswagen believes in the product. Like right now, you got 0.9 percent, not even one percent, but 0.9 if that makes sense of a percent interest for 60 months. That's standing behind your product because they have to write a check to get it there. There's no point nine money. So, I mean, that's just another incentive where the brand believes in their product so much. Absolutely. To get you in behind it and get you that payment that you're dying for. Yep. You know, there's no question. And then roadside assistance and then two year, 24,000 mile, you know, powertrain and extended parts of the warranty and everything else. We can sit here, you know, yeah. we can run this podcast for an hour on all the attributes that go along with this deal. Yeah, but at the end of the day, it's about all those value points and putting that customer into a situation where they're very comfortable with the car, they love the car, they enjoy the brand, and they recognize what we are That's right. and how we treat people. We are different. And we are <laughs> different. We are different. Maybe we'll be the first ones to admit it, so there's yeah. no question. So, California, mm -hmm. then where were you? Uh, I spent some time in Europe. I lived right. there for a while. I've, uh, awesome. Annapolis, I lived there for a year. I spent some time in New York, three years in New Jersey. So I've been around. <laughs> oh, I forgot, so you, you I forgot went to, you Missouri went to go, for nine months. That, yeah, you, you went know. to go see Jersey Boys, and it wasn't at all what you thought it was, was it? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but I'll tell you, I got some great friends that uh, from living up there and all on the dealer side. I have, lots of, in the I have lots of relatives there with the last yeah. name Luciano, you can imagine. <laughs> and they are, uh, they're different, too. They're like us. Oh, yeah, we're good. different as an automotive brand, and they're different as just people, you know, too to true. say the least. Okay. Where you, so I'm a Dallas boy. Dallas, uh, spent a year in San Antonio and then went to uh, Virginia four years ago and got back to Texas as fast as possible. <laughs> so. I, think, I think one of the things that helps us get along and appreciate you two so much is that both of you did some retail side. Yep. You guys have sat on our side of the business. Yep. And I think that makes all the difference when we're, when we're dealing with the OEM or the manufacturer. When you guys, because when we say something or whatever, either, either you can say, yeah, I mean, that's right or that's bull. Right. Because you've been there. Right. So it probably helps a little bit from everybody trying to snowball you guys on what's going on because you've been on the other side of it. It works, on both, it works both ways. It helps explain what needs to happen from a corporate standpoint, mm -hmm. that overarching long-term strategy for product and brand and, and that. And then the flip side is you can have discussions in the office and say, it doesn't work like that at a dealership. Yeah. That's not the way that it works. And so we need to think about doing something that supports the dealers. So ultimately, again, I know I keep going back to it. I, found like a bro I sound like a broken <laughs> record, but so it goes back to the customer at the end of the day. I just well, I think you guys know that one of, one of our big mantras or whatever that we've done is that we have always focused on being service before sales. It, you know, almost anybody can sell cars. You can do the things like you talked about, yes. the rough used car lots or the note lots, and you can, you can get those customers just selling an inferior product and stuffing them into it. And we just always felt like if we can't service it, and if we can't take a year of you, our customer, then the sale doesn't matter because it's going to be a one-time thing. You know, so we've learned that we've got to take care of you. And we feel like in the certified side, that helps us just do our job Absolutely. even easier because we can stand there, but we know we got you behind us. And that is the big difference. Having that warranty, having that customer be able to call. You know, if it's late at night, they're not trying to call us. They're not trying to call the dealership. They call 1-800-ROADSIDE ASSISTANCE. Hey, I got a problem. I'm broken down. No problem. You know, uh, Mr. Jones, guess, whatever. we're, we're on our way. We'll get you taken care of. We'll get you towed to the Volkswagen store. We'll get you someplace to stay. We're here to help you out and get you taken care of. And that is that peace of mind. I think is just worth everything. And, yeah, and it's invaluable. the cars aren't really any more. I think that's mm -hmm. probably one of the biggest things that people. Oh no, no, no! I can't afford you know a certified car. That's not true. Oh, I guarantee you, somebody that buys the car at a lot down the street will end up spending more money in the long run mm -hmm. than coming in and buying a certified Volkswagen. Yeah. I think because one, the care that we put into those cars, the care that you put into making those cars, right? Yeah. That's. It, right. it, that's worth its weight in gold. One of the things that our sales force and, and our managers really try to do a really good job at is, is getting somebody to look at the total cost of ownership. Yeah. And you guys yeah. coming from the retail side, you know what I mean. Yeah. It's, it's easy to say, hey, yeah, I got you in it and it's 250 a month and you got one payment next month. And then all of a sudden the tranny dropped and it's three grand. Well, now you've borrowed three grand or you put it on a credit card. Well, it's not 250 anymore because now you're yeah, trying to off pay that three grand and uh, this goes away. 
you know, we, we can really make you feel like, hey, this is within my budget. I can afford it. I can do it. And I can do it for three years or four years or whatever and get it done. And so that, that's what we love about the program so much. And we appreciate everything you guys do for us on the certified side. So we'll go to the audience. Any questions from the audience? So, no? Well, you guys got off easy. Yes. Uh, I think <laughs> so. <laughs> Although I have a feeling there's some impending doom coming our way. <laughs> so those on the video are going to get to. <laughs> we appreciate you guys watching this. Hopefully we helped you understand a little bit about what certified pre-owned what means and is and what it does for you as a customer. And uh, it's just something that we love to do. And we're very proud of being you know, part of World Auto and, and the things that we do. And once again, we just can't thank you guys enough for coming to see us talking to the staff, helping them believe it and understand it. And, uh, you know, we just, we've just had a ball today, you know, doing this thing with you guys. <laughs> In comes the ball. So we always well, have you. lots of fun. Thank, Mikey, yeah. thanks. Hey, thanks. Thank you. Thanks for taking the time and yeah. going with us. So it's our typical Wednesday. Thanks to, thanks to our crowd. Um, please, uh, we would say today probably, it was, uh, since you guys are going to be there too, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and give Digital Dealer 21. A little plug, you need to come see us in Vegas Absolutely. in August. You know, we, oh, we, thanks. We, yeah, we love I our thought the, the inundation of beach balls was <laughs> in it, it was over. So it's, yeah, It's kind of over, but you know, we, we got we to thank those people that, that were around us <laughs> yeah. to get you guys. So those are for y'all to wear on this the plane. Really, you know, it's, yeah, you know, so you can oh, sleep yeah, on the plane in those new pillows. So yeah, thank okay. you very much. <laughs> All right, so we want to, if, you, if, you, if you're watching this and you want to learn more about doing things digitally, we're going to be teaching a class. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a couple of different classes there. We'll be in Las Vegas. It's uh, August 8th, 8th 9th, 9th, 10th, and 10th, somewhere in there. Yeah. yeah. But if, you don't even have to be in the car business. If you're trying to up your game in the digital world, this is where you need to be. Absolutely. And open to all Volkswagen dealers. We're having a, our second C annual. CPO. And we have other OEMs that have now followed our lead <laughs> by having a CPO um, discussion well, on what, what's going to take place so in the So informative yep. last year. So thank you very much. Yeah. So um, that's on, unfortunately that's on Sunday though. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. Hey, you have to fly out Saturday. In Vegas, in Vegas. there's really no days <laughs> of the week, <laughs> no, right? Yeah, they just all end in <laughs> Y just, and they just leave weekend. it at that. And <laughs> so Sunday runs into Monday and it's kind of like that fine line between Saturday night and Sunday morning. Yeah, something right, like that. Right in there. So. A lot of coffee. Yeah, lots of coffee. <laughs> Guys, we thank you. Uh, as always, we're coming to you from Amarillo, Texas, which is our hometown. And Amarillo, thank you, and, and everybody in the Panhandle for all that you do for us and allow us to uh, do the things that we do. So we love you guys, and we'll see you soon. This is Motormouth. We're out. Thank you. Thank you.